Okay, time for some updates. Um, lots of details going into this thing. That uh, Getting that box built and skinned was easy compared to everything else. Uh, all the little things that seem to keep coming up. Um, one thing I've done on the front of the camper is added this trim here. It's a, just a rubber trim. Originally looked like this. It's a uh, basically the bottom seal of a garage door. Got it at Home Depot. Cut this little lip off the top to give it a nice square edge up here. I caulked that on. I've got a screw here because it kind of hangs off. I don't want that to get caught and tear off. Got one on each end. Um, I used a uh, product called Through the Roof. I've used it before. The stuff is solid. That's what's underneath here. And then I used another caulking product on the top here to uh, put a nice smooth edge that match this. Both are very flexible. I will uh, show you a picture of those in a second so you can see them. So anyhow, the reason I put this on is because the Ford Ranger that I'm using, the box is not flat. Uh, the tail, uh, the, the truck box itself is not flat. There's a step in it makes it a pain in the ass to seal show you over here in the back uh, too much light so anyways it's been a pain in the ass having with this on here you maybe can see that there so because of this step here couldn't just build that box that camper flat and have it sit on here so that rain flashing, that rubber flashing I put on the front will sit over this whole thing, keep the water running right off of it and not into the truck. All right, didn't mean to pause, stop that, but I did on accident. So anyways, these are the two things I used for putting that that rubber flashing on the front with. The Dynaflex is the white stuff, the through the roof is clear. It's waterproof. You can put that on in the rain, it says, and it sticks. The other stuff, it's a water-based. Um, good stuff though. Also then, I put on this bit of Z metal here. There's a drip edge over the top of the door. Um, was originally going to try without it, but I think it's better just to have that on there. Didn't really go with the traditional, unless I got it Home Depot. And I got it secured on there really well with these, these screws here. I just, I basically just put the Dynaflex behind this, pinned it up there, and smoothed this edge off the top. It was actually good. I put, I ran some tape across the top first before I did all the smoothing. Peel that off and you get a good clean edge that way. Okay. When I put the door on, I'll show you the details on that. Uh, start doing some wiring. We have basically two systems going here. Uh, this is for my brake light that I got on the outside. Just a marker light, LED. Figure that'll work good. That will hook up to the original that's in the truck bed already. Then I've thrown in this fuse box that I got at uh, it's a local auto parts store. We've got this connector here and that will just run to the battery system that I've been using to run accessories. I'll throw this in just a USB power outlet thing somewhere. Um, I'll probably rig this so that I can hook it up to the truck battery as well if I want but instead I'm going to use the uh, accessory battery which can be charged either solar or I just hook it up to the truck when the truck's running and that charges it as well. Anyhow, that's it for now. Any questions? Just ask. I'll give you the answers that I have.